connect because of this specific project, or are you connected in as a project? So. I was, it was uh, through a mutual friend, actually, uh, Shamar's manager, who I've known for about 10 years, who saw my movie, Philly Brown, and I, you know, just, just brought us together and we started chatting. Next thing you know, I'm like, hey, this is kind of cool, let's do this. He was excited about you. You know, I'd heard about him and I'd seen uh -huh. I'd seen some of his work. And my manager sent over to me, and I was like, "Wow, this is, the production value is amazing." And, um, and I could tell somebody knew what they were doing. Right? And so then, and my manager is my best friend for twenty years, so oh. I trust him. Uh, so if he brings, I didn't know that. <laughs> you guys, thank you. Love her. I thought you were like great friends. Like your best friend. Pretty good friends, yeah. <laughs> we know each other's dirty. We know everything. Um, <laughs> all all dogs. Dogs. I'll go. 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 But 19 years ago, I got on Young and Restless. I didn't know anything. I, got, I took a shot, et cetera, et cetera. And I was, somebody said, you want to go play football? And I was just regular football. Just go out on the field and run around and play black football. So I go out to this field, and I'm wearing baseball pants. Because um, before I wanted to be an actor, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. I wanted to play for the Boston Red Sox, the yeah. Oakland A's. I was born in Oakland. I'm half black, half white. My mom's the white side of me. She's from Boston. So I always had a dream of playing at Fenway Park. So I'm wearing my baseball pants just for whatever reason. And we go out to this field, and there's Ray. And Ray's out there in his little baggy shorts. He's got these cleats on, and he's got an ankle socks with no elastic in them. <laughs> <laughs> he's got cleats on, and they're just hanging off his ankle for the whole thing. So he's like, what are boys when you want? What are boys? You want some of me? You want some of me? I'm like, man, I'm an athlete. I mean, don't look light skin toy. I'm an athlete. And I'm like, man, so we're, we're 20, we're 23, 24 years old. And uh, talking, talking mess, talking mess. And, and uh, so I said, so anyway, he's on offense and I'm on defense and they call the play and it's called an out and up. So he came at me, I had him. He went that way, I had him. And then he went straight and I had him and then I lost him. Quarterback threw the ball and, he, and I was like, there is no way he didn't catch the ball. And he hit another gear and somehow did some ESPN type of Terrell Owens <laughs> and popped his ball and then did the most embarrassing dance in the end zone. And talked about me and I was like, I can either hate this guy or just take it on the chin. And we've been friends ever since. We make a joke that we're going to start a production company called Baseball Pants and Ankle Socks. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> you can't make that up. <laughs> And it was also Ray, and I hate giving him credit, but when I was on Young and Restless, knowing that I needed to take another step, that I wanted to grow as an actor and I wanted to get more credibility, he used to sit in my house and he'd listen to me frustrated. I'm like, man, I went to this audition, and man, this person got that job, and I can do it better. And why don't I want this shot better? And he would always just say, Shamar, play a cop. What do you mean play a cop? What do you mean play a cop? No, I want to be the football player. I want to chase the girl. I want to beat up and explode stuff. And da da da. He's like, Cop. I was like, wait, come on, this cop thing, the cop thing. No, I'm a cop. <laughs> <laughs> he was right. <laughs> <laughs> so, following up, I guess, more on relationship stuff, how did you bring in Nadine Bellacrest? Have you seen her? <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's up there with Denzel Washington in Fight um, uh, Flight. And, uh, you know, she's easy on the eyes. She's talented. And she also was respectful, mutually respectful mm -hmm. of me, and has a good relationship with Yousef and, and my manager. And she just, and we, asked, we asked a favor, and she, we gave her a sense of the script. She thought it was cute. She, she was interested. Mm -hmm. and, and we just, we wanted to do a little teaser, so we, we shot that at my house. And I'd never officially met her. And I come downstairs because I hear she's in my house. And uh, within 15 minutes of just, hey, how you doing? You know, we were being professional, talking about, okay, this is the dialogue, da da da, da. 
and all of a sudden it was an easy dance. And and that's not always that's not always the case with acting. Sometimes you you know you butt heads and you just your, your creative process is different and you gotta find you gotta find a middle ground where you, you can do some type of waltz or whatever the dance is. And with her it was, it was seamless, it was easy. And she was fun with her personality was great and she was confident and you know, a little insecure like actresses are. Just a little, you know, all that, like myself. We're, we're all insecure. It's all smoke and mirrors, but we all get the same game. We all, and, and we were able to, with his direction, you know, he, he set up the canvas, he set up the playground, and her and I got in there and played. And once she felt my vibe and her vibe and saw the finished product, from what I understand, she is determined to be in this movie. And uh, I have no problems with that. <laughs>